Char Technologies was initially founded to commercialize some biocarbon research I had been conducting at the University of Toronto, where we were taking low value materials and turning them into high value carbon products. Our first product out of the lab, Sulfachar, takes low value anaerobic digestate and turns it into high value activated charcoal. Our newly commissioned biocarbon plant will be producing two products. The first is Sulfachar and the second is Clean Fire. For Sulfachar, we'll be producing our first commercial batches and getting them into our clients' hands. For Clean Fire, we'll be producing 20 tonnes of Clean Fire for our testing partner, ArcelorMittal DeFasco, where they'll be testing it in their blast furnaces as a carbon neutral replacement for combusting coal. Sulfachar acts as a filter for renewable natural gas. So that's gas that comes from organic waste as it decomposes. So we're talking wastewater treatment plants or landfills or even green bin organic waste processing. That creates methane, which is great. It can be captured and utilized as a natural gas replacement, but it also has sulfur in it. And what Sulfachar does is pull that sulfur out of the gas so it can be used and converts it into a fertilizer product. Clean fire is a high energy carbon. We create a carbon that has higher energy than coal and can be used directly as a coal replacement for large industrial users, including blast furnaces and cement kilns. Like Sulfachar, Clean Fire is made from very low value materials, including wood waste, things like chipped pallets, or even some sewage sludges. We can take low value material and turn it into high value carbon. The real excitement around Clean Fire is that not only can we offset coal and our clients see the same or better energy, we can actually allow them to burn a product that creates no greenhouse gases in its use. Bench scale, we're making kilograms uh, per day. Uh, this facility can make up to five tons of product per day. So this unit uses four stages to the process. The first process is the feed handling. So we load super sacks into the loading hopper. They then get augered and up a bucket elevator through a rotary valve, uh, that's the airlock on the front side of the process. Then they go into what we call the feeding hopper. From there, we move into the second stage of the process, which is uh, the pyrolysis or the activation. Stage three is the solids handling slash cooling side of things. So as the material drops out of the heat tube into the first cooling screw, we get a direct spray of water to get some rapid quenching of the material, and then passes through a second cooling screw, then through a double dump valve, which is basically just two flaps that alternate to keep an airlock on the back end of the process, and then through a third cooling screw before it gets discharged into a super sack waiting on the other end. Char's big opportunity for growth is through our biocarbon development. And as we bring Clean Fire to market, it will really represent a step change from where Char Technologies is today.